today's video we're going to be drawing Animal Crossing characters as humans. I have already done this before and you guys liked it, so I'm doing it again. Anyways, the first villager I'm going to be drawing is Muffy. Funny story on how I got Muffy is that I knew when you started your island you got a sisterly type and a jock type. But for some reason I randomly said, wouldn't it be really funny if I got the goth sheep and I walk onto my island and there she is. <laughs> it was really funny because I just like completely called it and just got her. She wasn't like a dreamy or anything, I just randomly thought, wouldn't that be funny? And then there she is. I like Muffy, she's not the cutest of all villagers, but I still really like her. So for how I drew Muffy, Let's start with the pose. I found this picture of a girl in a Lolita dress. I searched goth Lolita dresses, so I'll get some poses with those types of dresses. And I got this picture of a girl with her like hands just like laying on her dress. It looked really pretty when she was doing it. I feel like I didn't fully capture it. I feel like mine looks a little stiffer, but it still looks okay, so I don't mind it. And... I decided to do long wavy hair because I thought I mimicked the shape of her pretty well and how she's a sheep so it's like she just looks slightly wavy she doesn't really look curly to me so I made her have wavy hair oh and I also decided to give her like earrings like big earrings to represent her horns originally I was gonna do like these little bun things but it wasn't working very well and for her outfit I basically just did the same outfit Muffy's wearing except I went based off of when she's not wearing it because when she doesn't wear it it gets puff sleeves but when she wears it it takes them away so I decided to go based off of when she's not wearing it. The dress in the game has a whole bunch of ruffles so it was kind of fun drawing all these ruffles. I don't draw them that often but it was also difficult so it was a challenge but kind of fun at the same time. Because ruffles are basically you just do kind of a bunch of squiggles and add on lines and then it kind of looks like ruffles which is the fun thing about them because you just draw a whole bunch of lines and then they end up looking like ruffles if i don't know if that's a good way of explaining it but that's how i'm explaining them for her face i wanted to capture the look in muffy's eyes but not completely because I still wanted her eyes to look cute. But I was having a hard time with the face for some reason. I think it's because it wasn't perfectly symmetrical. I ended up making another file and just drawing in that with a symmetrical ruler because I think the problem was the face wasn't perfectly symmetrical. So I just drew another face and just put it there. But then I tweak it just a little bit more when, when I bring it onto the picture of Muffy. But I find it kind of funny. I feel like the face slightly looks like Princess Peach. I don't know if you guys agree with me if it looks like Princess Peach, but something about how I drew the face, it gives like Princess Peach vibes. It could be that how I drew like the lips or like how many eyelashes I gave. Cause so I gave extra eyelashes because Muffy has six eyelashes. So I wanted to keep that. But also while I was sketching the face, I made sure to sketch on black lipstick. So I make sure the lips look good. And I also fiddle around with some colors to make sure the face looks good. But like I've already said, I do end up changing the proportions of the face a bit because the eyes were just a little too big. It was kind of fun doing the line art on the ruffles because I would fill in the parts that will be the ruffles showing where it's overlapping. I'll make it black. It was kind of fun because then I got to add line variation. So that was a fun part about the line art. But now I'm gonna answer some questions while I'm doing the rest of the line art. Even though I don't really, I do the line art of the ruffles at like the very end. One of the questions I got was, who's your least favorite villager? Quite a few people asked this, and this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't like Bob. I know a lot of people like him, but I don't like him, and I have a reason. Okay, so when I was playing New Leaf, I was like younger, I was like maybe like eight, nine. I was playing on my 3DS and I learned a villager's come move. I find his house right in the middle of my path. And back in this game, villagers could just move in and leave whenever they want. And then he chose to place his house right in the middle of my path. Like, younger me was so annoyed because you have to walk around and like place them individually. Like, if you play New Horizons, you know this, but if you look in your pocket and go into the custom designs, there's a button to click display on ground. Basically, you had to do that 
all the way around your island if you wanted a path. Then here Bob is placing his home right in the middle of it. But at some point he left and I was happy that he was gone because I didn't like him. But guess where he moved to? My sister's island. And he placed his house right in the middle of her flower garden. He just took his house and just smacked it in her flower garden. So will me and my sister have dirt with Bob? <laughs> I didn't realize how long that question was going to take. So I'm going to talk about the coloring now. For the coloring of like, the eyes and the face, it went fairly smoothly. I did think for a little bit though to make her blush be circles like it is on her face in the game. But it felt like too much going on on her face with the big eyes, all the eyelashes, the black lips, the earrings. It felt like way too much. So I decided to just soften it and just blend it out like I usually do. And the hair shading is nothing special, it's just how I usually shade hair recently. One problem I did have with the hair, from adding all the lighter colors, it made it a hair get a lot lighter. So I did need to add like a filter onto it later to make it darker. Oh, and I also decided to add stripes onto the earrings to look even more like a horns. Which I feel like looks really cute and does make the earrings look a lot more round. And for the dress, it's basic shading on how you would shade a dress. I did try to make sure I put a shadow underneath her arm so it looks like her arm's on top of it. Makes her look less flat. I was having a hard time though, it's like shading her arms for some reason and like her bust area. Or like, I don't know, I was just having a slightly difficult time. But ruffles, I kind of had fun shading. Because basically I would just go in with a dark color and just like fill in all the areas where it'd be dark. And then I went in with an even darker color and went on top of it. And then I took a brush set to add glow and added add glow to all the parts that stuck out. And then I did the same way I drew a rose in my 10k art piece I made for my 10k video. And I basically drew that and copy and pasted it all over her dress. One thing I did forget for a while, I forgot to add her buttons right away. So I add on the buttons later. And I also decided at some point to... Oh, I decided like way earlier, but anyways, I decided to give her black nails to mimic her hooves and I also gave her thigh high socks to also mimic her hooves. Cause I thought that would be cute to like mimic it. One thing I forgot though, I was going to originally make her like thighs that were poking out from the bottom of her dress be white. Like she was wearing like white tights, but I ended up at accidentally then coloring them skin tone. And I'm just remembering this now, but they look fine. I just slightly wish I tried doing the white tights. And for the pattern in the background, it's her old scarf pattern, but purple. Because the original colors of the scarf pattern kind of clash with the colors. So I decided to change it all to purple. And it's pretty cute in the background. And it's good, like, reference to her old scarf that she used to wear. And this is the final piece. I feel like it turned out pretty cute. I do feel like it looks like Muffy. I've actually have drawn Muffy as a human before when Animal Crossing first came out. Here's what that picture looks like. I definitely feel like this one feels more Muffy to me. And I feel like the torso doesn't look as weird. <laughs> and the next villager I'm going to be drawing is Vivian. I just like really, really like Vivian. I feel like she's like the best snooty type. I'm pretty sure she just moved into my island just one day and I'm like, I love her so much. For her pose, I really wanted to do something when her hand was like against her face. But I also wanted her to like be resting her arm on something. I don't end up drawing anything for her to be resting her arm on. Just like you can imagine it because I feel like people don't really need to have something be there. They get the point. But one thing I find slightly funny, for a while, it kind of looked like I was drawing my OC, how I had the hair going, because I have an OC who has a middle part, and she has like long hair, but she also has flatter eyes and a darker skin tone. Because I knew I was going to give Vivian a darker skin tone, because if you look at her muzzle, it kind of looks like a teardrop, which kind of makes me think of a middle part. I'm sorry, that was a really weird transition. I was going to say it makes me think of a darker skin tone, but then I started talking about hair, so sorry, haha. <laughs> I did think about at first giving her a spiky hairdo, but then I ended up ditching it, but then I ended up bringing it back later because I felt like the smooth 
long hair was too smooth because like if you look at Vivian she has like very spiky hair so I felt like I needed to draw the spiky hair. I told my sister to critique my picture and she said my hand looked weird and then I grabbed my reference to see what I did wrong she was like oh nope it looks just like the picture. So the reference just looked really weird on how the hand was going, but I didn't know how else to have the hand go, so I just kept it that way. But I also decided to give her little nails as well. It seems like I really like to give them nails when I'm turning them into humans, because it's so nice for adding the color that's at the end of their hand. So like, Vivian has like this brown color at the end of her hand, so I gave her like brown nails, like dark brown nails. Or did I make them black? I don't really remember. But yeah, here I'm drawing the spiky hair and cleaning up the sketch a bit more, fixing up the skirt. The skirt does not look good. It looks really bad in my opinion, but I decided to leave it because I didn't know how to make it any better. I felt like Vivian's face was looking very sweet. I always think like Vivian, like she comes off as like really sassy, but she's pretty sweet when you get to know her. But I decided to make her eyebrow go up just a little bit so it seems a little more sassy or like snooty, which is her personality type. But it doesn't really give the complete like snootiness. Just a little bit, I guess. I don't know, I always think Vivian's fairly nice. And right now I'm just cleaning up the sketch a bit. I Oh, <laughs> when you see all those scribble lines go on the screen, I was making a custom brush for line art because I got tired of how a mechanical pencil would sometimes overlap weird when I would try to like color it, it doesn't look completely right. But I liked how round it is. So anytime you see me scribbling, it's me figuring out the new custom brush I made. I'm gonna answer some more questions since I don't know what to talk about here. One question I was given was, What's your favorite build you spent the least amount of time on? And what's your favorite build you spent the most time on? Um, I'm gonna say my favorite right now is like my farm area. I've been working on it a bit more. I feel like all my builds are pretty even in time, but I also really like my beach area. But I'm not sure how long I spent time on that. And for the area that I spent a whole bunch of time on, but it doesn't look that good is personally this like area of all these gold roses. I'll give you guys my dream address so you guys know what it looks like. You can walk around my island if you want. But let you know some areas are not finished because I got a Nintendo Switch for my birthday and then my siblings were living with me but now they have their own island. So I still have to figure out what to do with their house area and my front yard is a wreck. <laughs> And another question is, does your island have an aesthetic? No, it does not. I just kind of do whatever, whenever I want. Okay, one problem I was having with the custom brush I mentioned earlier, um, it was taking whatever color I used and adding gray to it. I think it was just a problem with the image I had or that I was using. I managed to fix it so it's no longer a problem. I don't think it behaves any differently. It seems to work pretty okay. I haven't noticed any change, but I didn't use it on the line art again. So, um, yeah. One thing I was having trouble with for this picture coloring wise was Vivian's hair and skin. I'm not used to coloring darker skin tones, so it felt weird to me. And I have a habit of not drawing darker skin tones. Can you call that a habit? I don't know. It seems like I don't grab them as often as I want to. But like for her face, it kept on looking flat. So I ended up adding more shadows and highlights later. I think I had more highlights. I might just add more shadows. For Vivian's hair though, it was also the same situation where there wasn't enough shadows. But when I add more shadows later, I feel like it fixes the problem and it looks good. Oh, right. I told you guys about the patterns I made. So the patterns I'm talking about, they're really, really simple. So for the patterns, I basically just made an image that was a square and then you click convert image to pattern or something like that. I'll check to make sure all, all the information is legit when I'm editing this. But then I made the pattern. I did the same thing for the background. It's a super easy, fast way to make a pattern. Oh, 
I made Vivian's nails blue. Okay, that has nothing to do with what I said earlier. <laughs> I made them blue. I guess I just liked the color and felt like there wasn't enough blue, even though blue's kind of everywhere. <laughs> well, my mistake. Well, here's Vivian. I feel like she turned out pretty good. I feel like she definitely looks like her villager. And I had fun drawing her. While I was drawing this, I was a little worried though that I wasn't really good enough. I don't know why. But I just had that mindset like, is this good enough? Is this good enough? Is this good enough? But I like how it turned out. I feel like they're both not incredible. It's like It feels like it's a little lacking in values and how I was coloring. But I was feeling a little rusty coloring like this. But I feel like they both turned out great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good rest of your day. Bye!